In this module, you will learn the basics of the Fiery Command Workstation interface. The former Fiery XF client used in previous versions of Fiery XF has been completely replaced with Fiery Command Workstation. Fiery Command Workstation consists of three components. Fiery Job Center is used for job management. Fiery Job Editor is used to perform editing on an individual job basis. And Fiery Server Manager is used to configure printers, media, workflows, and users. Fiery Job Center, as part of Fiery Command Workstation, is the dedicated job management tool and is used universally for all Fiery servers. The clean and uncluttered Fiery Job Center allows you to easily locate the jobs you need to work with, while a powerful search feature can be used to quickly help you find your jobs when you have a large number of jobs in your list. Fiery Job Editor is a dedicated job editing tool and is launched from within Fiery Command Workstation. In Fiery Job Editor, you perform on-the-fly actions such as performing color adjustments and verification, cropping, scaling, and other layout options, as well as preparing files for cutting or creating step and repeat, tiling, or nesting jobs, and modifying any and all of the default settings you have configured for your system. Users, workflows, and printers are set up and configured using Fiery Server Manager. In Fiery Server Manager, you can add new printers to your Fiery servers, plus set media and printer defaults such as media type and print mode, or special printer settings. You can also configure the way that users can access printers, workflows, and media when importing files into Command Workstation and modify jobs once they are imported. The interface itself can even be customized for each user, hiding features that won't be used and options that users will not or have not been trained to use, reducing complexity and the possibility of user error. In Command Workstation, Fiery Job Center is devoted 100% to the tasks associated with job management. Fiery Job Editor is devoted 100% to the tasks associated with job editing. And Fiery Server Manager is devoted 100% to the tasks of adding and configuring printers, media, workflows, and users. On the left in Fiery Command Workstation, you will find the Fiery sidebar, which contains the Home, Job Center, and App and Resources buttons. Click on the Top button, the Home button, and you can view a high-level status overview of your connected Fiery servers and a snapshot of print production statistics over the last week. Click on the bottom button, the Apps and Resources button, to gain access to all installed and available Fiery applications with a single click and view other applications and resources for the Fiery server. You can also access free software trials and downloads supported for the selected Fiery server. There is also a link to learning.efi.com, the EFI learning site which contains a wealth of Fiery wide and super wide training materials and Fiery cut sheet training materials. In the center is the button used to take you to Fiery Job Center. Fiery Job Center is the main Fiery Command Workstation screen and is where most users will spend most of their time. Here you will view and manage jobs sent to the connected Fiery servers. In the left column is the Servers list, which shows information about the Fiery servers that are currently connected or were connected to your installation of Command Workstation, even if they are currently disconnected. Clicking on the plus sign to the left of the server name will expand a list of all printers connected to that server. Click on the plus sign to the left of a printer and you will see a list of queues for that printer along with the number of jobs in each queue. Click on the plus sign next to all printers and it will expand to display the number of jobs in all queues in all of the printers connected to that server. If you click on the plus sign next to a Fiery Cut Sheet server, a list will appear displaying available media and consumables. The display for each Fiery server can be collapsed to view additional servers. 
The server list is also a drop zone, which means you can drag and drop files to the queues in the servers list to import them. If you exit Fiery Command Workstation, the server's list is retained. With a server selected and the All Jobs option selected under All Printers, Command Workstation will display a list of all jobs in all queues for all printers connected to that server in the central job list. If you select a specific queue, Command Workstation will display a list of all of the jobs in that queue for all printers connected to that server. If you select a specific printer, Command Workstation will display all of the jobs in all of the queues for that printer. Finally, if you select a specific queue for a specific printer, Command Workstation will display only the jobs in that queue for that printer. Another important feature is that the job list title bar will automatically change to display different options depending upon the type of server that you select. If you select a wide and super wide format Fiery server, you will have import, new nesting, print, print and cut, delete, color tools, color editor, and verifier icons available. However, if you switch to a server that is connected to a Fiery cut sheet printer, you will have Import, Print, Properties, Preview, New Job, Delete, Calibrate, Logs, Paper Catalog, and Start Sample Print icons available. Command Workstation will automatically configure the toolbar to display only the tools that can be used with the type of server you currently have selected, either cut sheet or wide and super wide format. In the job list, you can click on any of the header items to sort the jobs by that specification, such as date, job name, or by the information in any other column. Click again to reverse the order of sorting. Right click on the header bar, and you can add or remove various columns. You can also resize any column and drag and drop them to change the column order. Directly above the list of jobs is a toolbar with options to import jobs, create a new nesting, print a selected job or jobs, print and cut if your Fiery server is connected to a device that both prints and die cuts, delete a selected job, or launch the color tools, color editor, or verifier applications. Above the toolbar is the search area, where you can enter a name to search for a job or jobs. You could also enter a name for a job type, such as poster, to find all jobs that match that description. Other options are to search for media names, sizes, printers, resolution, or almost anything. Clicking on Clear will again show you all of your jobs. You can also click to the small icon to the right and create a filter to quickly select jobs that match specific criteria. For instance, I'll enter error in the job status area, Tyvek in the media area, and save the filter. I'll click on save search and give the filter a name. and then clear the search results. I can quickly select this filter in the future to see any jobs that have produced an error that need to be printed on Tyvek. Filters become powerful tools, especially when you have many jobs in your job list. If you select a job in the job list, a preview of the job, if available, will be displayed at the top of the right-hand column. If a preview of the job does not appear, you can right-click on the job and select the preview option. Below the preview image is the job summary section which displays information for the selected job, including the job name or title, number of pages or sheets, and number of copies. Other information such as the time of spooling or processing, 
Other information, such as the time of spooling or processing, media configuration, pre-flight or job verification, is displayed according to the selected Fiery server. You can edit some of the job property fields by clicking on the pencil icon, such as changing the number of copies required. Click Edit next to the Media Configuration option, and you can select any of the other available options available for that printer. Back in the job list, the first column displays a graphic and associated text indicating the status of the job. Right-click on a job to get a complete list of job actions, including options to preview, process, print, and delete the job. Select Job Details, and a window will appear and display information returned from any EFI printer, including ink and media consumption, plus rip and print times. A set of status bars at the top of the Fiery Command workstation interface will show the progress of file processing and printing. If you mouse over the processing area while a job is being processed, a Cancel button will appear, which will allow you to stop the job processing. Finally, let's explore the top menu. Under File, you have options to import a job or exit Command Workstation. Keep in mind that if you close Command Workstation for any connected servers, any jobs that were sent to process and print will continue to do so. Under Edit, you can select all of the jobs in the job list and modify the preferences. In the Preferences window, you can check for available updates to Command Workstation, restore application settings to their original defaults, while retaining the servers in the Servers list along with their passwords, clear data, which will clear saved passwords for all users and all servers, returning them to the default admin for the user ID and fiery.1 for the password. You can also choose to help EFI improve the quality reliability and performance of the software by sending anonymous usage data but not your name, address, or any other personally identifiable information to EFI. You can also change the default language and measurement units used by Command Workstation. By default, Fiery Command Workstation uses the local operating system language if the language is supported. If the language is not supported, Fiery Command Workstation defaults to English. Under Actions, you will see the same options for a selected job that will be available if you right-click on that job, while the options under Server are the same that are available if you right-click on the server in the Server list. These options include logging out of the server, removing the server from this installation of Command Workstation, or launching Server Manager, Color Tools, Color Editor, or Verifier. Selecting an option under the View menu is the same as clicking on one of the three buttons on the far left column. Finally, under Help, you'll be able to access Online Help, check for updates for Command Workstation, launch your default browser, and open the EFI Online Resources page where you can access training options, download software, and request free trial of additional EFI software products, launch an online tour of Command Workstation, or open a window where the version of Command Workstation and other components is displayed. This completes this module.